Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today you are here for some June favorites. I don't know if you can tell by the obnoxiousness, snissness, snissness. That was, that was close, right? But today is the 4th of July. I'm filming on the 4th because I actually just had a little bit of time in between things that I was doing and whatnot, so I figured I would carpe diem the shit out of this moment and talk about some favorite things. And I'm sure, as you'll notice, by the way, do you not just like, the 4th is everywhere. It's the 4th. Love America. So I have some hits and misses here and we are gonna kind of go in through and like interchange them. The first item that I have been just like lovingly obsessed with, I've only had it a hot minute, but so far I'm just like, whoo child. It is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. Um, it got a very nice big mirror here and it's like got this weird like fingerprint thing. Like if I push into it, do you like see, it's like what and then like, I'm, what? I just can't. Can you even? Can you even stand life? I, ugh. I'm wearing it on my skin right now. Um, I actually layered two highlighters because this one was almost like a, a little creamier and I wanted like that BAM it's the 4th of July firework kind of effect and that's just like what I wear. <laughs> I layered it today so it but it is on like the majority of my highlight you see is this bad boy. It is so insanely pigment pigmented I can't I just I'm shocked and that consistency is just like my favorite like I could just sit there and just be like me 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 all day but I don't want to be wasteful. <laughs> but is it wasteful if you put it all over your body? I mean no. <laughs> So let's real quick switch over to one that I did not enjoy. Um, you know it, I know it. All of the county, I'm sure, knows it by now. It is the matte foundation from NYC. I still haven't found the lid, by the way. <laughs> this is going in the garbage right after this video. Um, but I, I, I hated this, and I will link the video down below where I tried a bunch of NYC products. I tried this, and I tried their primer, and I was just like, what? Like, why? Why would you do this to me? And actually, another one of the items I had laid out to talk about that I did not like was their color wheel. I liked the other two color wheels, but the, the blush color wheel and then the bronzery color wheel, I actually didn't hate. Um, and I thought that they were very nice for, you know, illuminating and giving like a very subtle but pigmented glow. They blended very nicely. These ones did. For some reason though, I don't know if it was just this one, this is the Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in the shade 722A Translucent Highlighter Glow. I take issue with it for two reasons. One, it says translucent. Gee, does that look translucent to you? Because it does not to me. My second issue is where's the glow? Like you swatch through this, and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it looks like straight up dust. Just dusty, chalky, like that's, and then like, like, okay, I still have the other highlighter swatch. Look at this. It's just not. Like, if you would have said, oh, hey, it's a light bronzer or something, I would have felt differently about it. But the way I feel like this is I feel like you just trapped me into buying this product by calling it a translucent highlighter glow. That's not even close to what it is, and it's chalky and ugly. So even if it was a bronzer, it's still not good. <sighs> okay, so much hate. I need to dial it down. We're going to move on to something that I did love. I ordered this. Okay, this is actually like one of my biggest excitements. And this is going to sound really pathetic when I say it out loud. I was on the Tarte website like a few months ago and I signed up for like, oh, hey, you know, when you have sales and stuff, like, let me know because <laughs> what girl don't want to know about her sale? Well, there has been this one product. Okay, two products. Okay, probably like 15, but we're talking about these two specific products that I have had my eye on for a hot minute now. And I was like, I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna spend like 45 or $42 or whatever it is, I'm gonna wait. I waited. Ooh, patience is a virtue! It is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette. You, obviously you get this huge, nice mirror, and then you get these three insanely beautiful shades. Now, okay, lighting. What I love about this so much, A, the consistency. I am obsessed. B, I love the colors, but what I do love about this so much is that it is a natural glow, and I am not a natural glow person. Like, look, do I look like I like natural glow? No, I'm like, I want the most obnoxious in-your-face highlight. This is the first and only highlight I have ever fallen in love with that was like a natural hue. I don't know if you're ever gonna be able to see these. For some reason, the light is just like not picking them up like they should, but these are in the shade Moonlight. Sunlight is the darker one and then the one right in the middle is called filtered light and it's they call it a matte sand Which is why you can't see it. That's why there's just like a huge space But what I love about these and I don't know why they're so hard to like swatch on camera when they come across Insanely beautiful in real life when they had this sale back to my really good story. I picked up a couple things on their website. Oh I also picked up 
the double-ended highlighter brush that I've been dying for. I love this thing. I love it because it's got like this, this dense end right here and then it's got like this really fluffy end. Sorry, it's like, it's covered in highlighter because I went, I went in deep today. What I love about it is that this end right here, the, the dense end, it makes it so easy to like pack on. If you want to put on like intense product or you really want to like concentrate, you know, I want this pop right here. It makes it so easy to just like very gently go in. And then I use this end, <laughs> no haters. <laughs> I use this end and I like dabble in it and I just like go on like full lower jawline, like cheek area right in here. And I'm just like, oh yes. And I love it because it just brightens it up. If I want to use this middle shade, the brightening, you have to open it from the right side. If I want to go in with like this middle, the brightening shade right here, the or the sand, and I just want to like brighten it up and almost use it like a banana powder. It just filters over the skin and looks so glowy and bright and it's just, I'm obsessed with it. I ended up paying $16 for this, but this was retailed at like 40 I want to say it was $42 or $45. That's how much it would cost. Like if you were to go buy it either on their website or from a store or whatever. I paid $16 for this. I think I paid like right around the same amount for this brush. I got them on sale and then I found a coupon code. This, I actually printed out the receipt and like put it in my journal. I was that happy about it. <laughs> That's how you know you're a makeup lover. The next item I am obsessed with is, comes of no surprise to anyone that watches YouTube in the last like, I don't know what, four or five-ish months. It is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. It is the lighter of the two. It is like such a flattering, amazing skin tone or color for lighter skin tones. I was actually really, really happy. Like, oh my God, look at that. I have been using this almost every single day. You wouldn't even know I've like touched it. Like it, you get such an, a giant amount of product in here. It's ridiculous. Um, and this is actually <laughs> sold out. It was a limited edition product by Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs, honey, we are begging you to bring it back because I'm like, I won't take this anywhere because if I were to break this, I would cry. Like this is, this is life. It's everything. So I either need you to bring it back or, um, bring it back. Thanks. Thanks. So let's move over to a product that I did not care so much for as I creak in my chair. <laughs> um, it was the Lottie by London or Lottie London. I keep saying Lottie by London. It's Lottie London page. But anyways, the Lottie London Insta Filter Pore Eraser Stick. I just did not like this. I mean, like I said, I did a whole video on actually Lottie London, all their products. I did a full face and there's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> And I actually really liked most of their products from their line. I think this was one of the only products I did not really, really like. Like it doesn't do anything and it had like this weird consistency like Elmer's glue. Like it's just, and it gets all bally and gummed up and it's, it's like, I, I don't know. It, it, to me, it literally didn't do anything. It didn't even like give my skin a nice sheen. It didn't fill my pores and make my face move. Like to me, if you're going to make a claim of something, you need to at least do one thing for me to not hate you. Like you're an Insta filter, pore eraser stick. If you had erased even half my pores, I'd have been like, okay, girl, I see what you're doing there. It didn't do that. Like it didn't brighten my skin. It didn't help mattify my skin. It didn't do anything for my oily skin. Not that it claimed to, but it just, it didn't do anything. So I was like, no, no girl. However, girl, I got some stuff to talk about with you right now. Like we're gonna have some real talk. We're gonna have real talk. We are going to talk about this Lottie London brand. They are by far one of the two biggest things on my favorites video this week. And there's a reason why. Their stuff is amazing for the price that you pay. I will link my video so you can see like the love I'm having for them but I have nothing negative to say. Something I have been loving, wearing it on my lips right now, it is Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. And like, just let me, I'm like shook about this. Like, this is the best nude I think I've ever put on my face. It goes on like a dream. It is pigmented. It has staying power for days. Like, do you, ju I, it's this up here, by the way. I'm just obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with the way that it dries down. I'm obsessed with everything about. I love his liquid lips. Jeffree Star, you have mastered the liquid lipstick game. I love everything about it. The hue, I love the applicator, by the way. Like, it's just, it's, the whole thing is life. I actually also ordered his, um, 
2017 Chrome Collection. I ordered the whole thing, so you guys will be getting a review on that. The last thing I have to talk about, you guys, is the KL Polish release. You can just rest assured that anytime there is a KL Polish release, you will see it in the favorites video following the release because it is amazing. I'm obsessed. She's had, I think, what, three releases now? I've bought every single shade that she sells because these are so amazing. I'm actually wearing Quarter Miami, which is this blue shade. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. They last so well. Yes, they peel. Yeah, I'm not going to say they don't chip or anything like that. You know, they're not gel. If you are ever in the market to try out or look for nail polishes or you're looking for like a different kind of color, go to the KL Polish website. Look at her stuff. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that, you know, there wasn't too much of the negative side of things. I try to keep that to a minimum because nobody really wants to, I mean, like you want realists, like, yeah, you, you want to know what's real, but at the same time, do you want to turn on a hit, hit and miss video and be like, oh, I like three things and I hate the world. Like, no, nobody likes that. There's a hair in my face again. So like I said, I will go ahead. I will link some of those other videos down below. Feel free to subscribe, like, heart, comment, um, bell. I'm trying to think of all the other keywords that they use when other people make their videos. I don't know. I don't really care because I'm not them, but whatever. So I'm going to get going because it's really freaking hot in here. I don't know why it's so hot. My God, it's like I'm sitting in the Sahara. But I hope you guys have a lovely day, night, whatever, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.